I'm Risa Mallon, and I'm here today, February, se uh, February 3rd, 2009, with Mayor Phil Gordon in his office in City Hall. Let's talk about your growing up in Phoenix. When did you come here? I moved here uh, in 1960. I didn't really have a choice. My dad and mom uh, packed up and uh, actually decided they were going to move to California. Uh, and my dad was going to go into business with a friend of his to be a salesman. And as we uh, drove out here, uh, I think it was like a 1958 uh, Pontiac. Uh, the three kids were in the back seat and they were in the front seat. And we stopped in Arizona and stayed at, uh, I think, a motel in those days on, if I remember, on Van Buren, actually, uh, on the way to California. That was the highway. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think my dad and mom liked what they saw. Uh, you know, we were in the pool, so we loved it and uh, went to California. I think we were there about a month or so, and then uh, dad and mom decided that wasn't the, the lifestyle they wanted and decided to come back here. And so they moved to Third Street in Maryland, which is where I grew up, which of course now is Central Phoenix or North Phoenix, depending on how long you've lived here, North Central, and grew up there uh, from the time I was in fifth grade. Tell me about uh, growing up here. What was life like for you? In well, uh, you know, I think uh, almost like today, it, it's really different than back east. I was born in Chicago and don't remember it that well, but uh, certainly as I've heard the stories and uh, from everyone and see back eastern <clears throat> cities today, um, the lifestyle here in Phoenix, as we all know it, is so different. It's, uh, first of all, as kids, uh, you know, there wasn't uh, the fear uh, of playing outdoors. Uh, Everybody was taking care of everyone else, whether it was older kids or neighbors or, you know, uh, school. Uh, you went to college in Arizona also. Yes. Uh, graduated Madison Meadows at uh, third in Ocotillo and went to uh, Central High uh, at uh, Office Central in Camelback and then went down to Tucson, got my undergraduate degree in teaching uh, and then uh, worked a little while. and. Then got my uh, law degree from ASU, so even in those days, kind of a little political, uh, not knowing it. And Were you in politics in high school? Uh, you know, not in high school. Uh, never really had a desire in terms of organized politics or ever a thought I would. Though in law school, uh, I got drafted to be the SBA president, so I guess that was my first, uh, <laughs> uh, the Student Bar Association president. Um, do you have any interesting stories about being mayor? Well, I, I think I've had the... Uh, <clears throat> opportunity and experience to uh, meet, uh, you know, past and current uh, um, world leaders uh, that, uh, you know, bring a living history uh, to reality. Uh, um, a number of presidents I've had the opportunity to meet and uh, um, become uh, able to not only be recognized by president, but, you know, interrelate on some important issues for the city of Phoenix, Republican or Democrat. Last week you spoke about going to Israel. That was certainly, I'd never been to Israel. Uh, I was uh, honored to be asked as part of the, uh, as President Bush's uh, uh, formal delegation to be one of two elected officials, the governor of Hawaii and myself, uh, and, and she's uh, Jewish also, but to come as the uh, official United States delegation to uh, celebrate Israel's 60th uh, anniversary and freedom and part of that uh, I was able uh, on my own uh, to uh, get a true bird's eye view of uh, the, the problems and the difficulties Israel faces. It instilled a sense of uh, urgency even more so to um, do what I could uh, and can uh, as a mayor of the city of Phoenix but a, a mayor of a fifth largest city to continue to give our support and. Um, in our, our verbal words of encouragement and any other issues that we can work on nationally or locally to, to support the state of Israel. That's very, very nice to claim you as part of the Jewish community. Uh, you know, the, I think it was the fourth mayor of Phoenix was Jewish. And so were there any between you and Mayor Gantz? You know, I, not I to my knowledge, but you know what, I think Phoenix has a proud history. Uh, even growing up, uh, you know, there, there, while there's always, uh, I believe, anti-Semitism uh, throughout the world in any city, uh, r uh, bigotry, uh, racism, we're seeing that uh, today, particularly directed to the Hispanic community. Um, 
but there has always been a sense in, in Phoenix of, uh, you know, it, it doesn't really matter uh, what your color of your skin is, what your family name is, how long you've been here, what your religion is. It's just, it, it's, it's the West, it's the New West, it's uh, everybody's come from one place. Um, so growing up here, I, I never really experienced, uh, again, the the prejudice, the racism that uh, my parents and, and so many of uh, people of the Jewish community experienced outright. Let's talk about your interest in preservation since this is the Arizona Jewish Historical Society. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's where I met you. Well, um, history to me has always been uh, a window not only to the past but to the future. And uh, to me it's uh, about preserving that past and some important memories, uh, whether it's individuals or structures. Um, also the craftsmanship of older buildings uh, where, where the, the love of uh, individuals went into actually uh, building. It was like a piece of art. Uh, the one that we're certainly focused on uh, that came to me as a result of uh, really people concerned that uh, the, the synagogue that uh, was such a beautiful asset and located in, in such an uh, important area the, next to the library and really uh, a, a treasure that had fallen into disrepair over the years, um, first with the Jewish community and then uh, subsequent communities uh, down to the point where developers were looking at it to buy it. And um, between uh, yourself and a, and a core group of individuals that had a dream and a vision to preserve that, uh, got me involved, uh, George Weiss, of course, in my office that I think is involved in every Jewish activity uh, right. and then still has time to spend about uh, 90 hours a week working on city business, and of course uh, my old friend uh, Bert Lukowitz that, uh, I'm Jerry, sorry, Jerry, yeah, Jerry Lukowitz that uh, came to me and uh, said, because he was uh, an attorney uh, for my dad and my mom in the old days when uh, they worked together, said this is something we have to do. And so uh, we all got together, uh, we all ended up uh, acquiring it, uh, we got some money from the city to start the restoration. and. Uh, as they say, the rest is history. And uh, that asset, instead of being demolished and either sitting as a vacant lot or a, just another uh, nondescript small office building, uh, is now uh, being restored. And in the culture and the history, uh, with the living history that you're creating with individuals of Phoenix, as well as the photographic history uh, and the physical uh, assets that you're collecting, uh, Jewish uh, Phoenix history is going to be available for not just the Jewish community, but for the residents and citizens of Phoenix for now generations uh, to come. Is there anything else you'd like to reflect on, on your job, on Phoenix today? Well, I think uh, that uh, we're fortunate, I believe, based on uh, certainly a lot of cities throughout the world and in this country that uh, we have uh, such a great quality of life for our our seniors to our, our newest born um, that, you know, again, the limitation in Phoenix today is, is again, not what religion you are, not uh, how long you've paid your dues or any of those restrictive barriers that have, have stopped great cities from progressing and I believe led to deterioration. I think we have to protect and work together on that. And, and one of those assets is what we just talked about a little while ago is this um, fighting back uh, racism and, and prejudice and, and hate, which certainly uh, our, our culture and our religion has taught us that. I think, you know, we just got to remember uh, there still is this hate and, and, uh, and this belief that uh, people should be judged by their religion uh, and uh, people aren't equal. And that's something we reject in this country and we reject in this city. And, and I know the Jewish community does so. Well, we thank you. Thank you. Good luck in okay. your future, your future endeavors, whatever. Whatever they may, they be. may be, and <laughs> that's right. Well, I, that uh, will both uh, whatever they may be. Good. Thank Take you. Take care.